Hey guys, once well, again here bringing another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video and so I've seen a few people asking about the time of the banners. Obviously I just dropped a video breaking down the details of Fujio and Zamasu and at that time because it was being recorded live right after the Dokkan now, a bunch of these sites that show the details from the data downloads, none of them were working because obviously everyone in the community is trying to get on them and see what time the banners were dropping. But we do have the update here just for those of you who weren't aware, as well as the details for the Mai and Zamasu banner units. So I thought I'd go through those as well. So as you can see here, uh, this is in UK time. They unlock at 7.45. So this video is being recorded uh, at 4.22 a.m. By the time it goes up, I mean, I don't know how long it's going to take to upload, but it's probably going to be around 4.30, maybe close to 4.35. So basically when this video goes up, it's going to be about three hours uh, time. The banners are going to come out. So in terms of your time zone, I believe if you're EST, that's five hours behind the UK. So it'll be 2.45 a.m. If you're in PST, which I think is PDT currently because of daylight savings, you're eight hours behind me. So this will be 11.45 p.m. for you. So... Strangely enough, the banners for these kind of big events usually come out early. I was expecting them to drop maybe like an hour or two after the live stream. But these are actually 15 minutes later than banners usually come out on Global. Because usually if it's like a mini filler celebration like Kale or something, the banners come out at 7.30 UK time. And this is 7.45, so... I had to get up super early for the Dokkan now, and I'm just going to go back to bed after this. But I just wanted to post this for those of you who weren't aware of exactly when the banner's going to come out. So basically, from the time this video goes up, it's going to be about three hours. And like I say, 7.45 UK, 2.45 AM EST, 11.45 PM PST. If you're in a different time zone, obviously, you'll have to uh, calculate that for yourself. So we got the Vegeta and Goku and the Zamasu. I went through all their details in a video that I just uploaded. But let's take a look at the Mai and the Zamasu side banner units. So this is the STR Mai. Counter attack of humanity survivors. So she's got the uh, dudes that are from Trunks's uh, Trunks and Vegeta's active skill. Um, it's a bit of a shame that she's not called like my brackets like future soldiers or something because it means she shares a name with basically every other my unit, which is a little bit unfortunate. But it is what it is. Um, so connected Opal Future Saga leader. Uh, she gets two key attack and defense 150, additional attack and defense 50% and reduces damage received by 20% when performing a super attack. Okay, so obviously not a slot one unit. Launches an additional attack that has a medium chance to become a super. Additional defense 50% and reduced damage received by 30% within the same turn every time the character performs a super attack two times. Interesting. So she has to get an additional super, but then she'll get an extra 50% defense and 30% damage reduction. That's kind of cool. Superclass allies attack and defense 30%, additional attack and defense 20% and chance to perform a crit 10% for characters who belong to Future Saga. Yeah, so Superclass Future Saga, she's giving 50% attack and defense and 10% crit chance. So yeah, she is a floating slot 3 support unit. I'm guessing then you just want to build her full additional because you want to be able to get those two supers in one turn so she gets the extra damage reduction. Because even if the attack from her passive is a normal attack for the additional, it gives you that extra chance to proc the hidden potential. She's obviously not going to be as good if she only does one super, but she still has 20% damage reduction. So I feel like that's a pretty good build for a slot 3 floating support unit. She also changes physical orbs to STR, changes tech to AGL, and super class allies 3 key when HP is 50% or less at the start of the turn once only is kind of weird. For a once only ability... Um Oh, it's all of that is tied to HP 50% or less, which is interesting because it means she's creating STR orbs for herself, but then also she's creating AGL orbs for Vegeta and Trunks or Vegito. Uh, sorry, Vegeta and Goku or Vegito. So that is actually pretty cool. So Mai seems very good. In slot three as a support unit, if she's getting that second super, she's actually going to be quite tanky, which I think is really good design for a third slot floating support unit. So very, very cool. Uh, her super attack is raise attack and defense one turn, does supreme damage and seals. Um, I guess by making her just my, she is on like peppy gals and stuff. But So she raises defense on super. So again, getting that additional for her. Because she's a support unit, she is basically, you just go dodge and additional in her passive, right? Because Because she has this built in attack, which means it'll be easier to trigger her hidden potential. You don't need to go full additional for her. So she's going to have five crit because she is a uh, STR unit. 
And then I think personally, you just go dodge and then additional on her, right? So you want a good mix of both because you, I think you can probably get to, with skill orbs, you can get to like 20 and 15 or something like that, I think would be really good for her. So she seems very, very good uh, for a third slot floating support unit. And then we have Zamasu, because bear in mind, I haven't read either of these before, if that wasn't clear from my reactions to my. So Zamasu, Patara or Future Saga. If there is a super class enemy at the start of the character's attacking turn, activates the... Oh, so he has an entrance animation for a side bounty unit. That's cool. Attack and defense 50% and chance to dodge 20% uh, extra for the rest of the battle. There's got to be some super content coming soon then, right? We keep saying that every time these extreme units come out, but we'll see. Attack and defense 150. Additional attack and defense 50% and chance to dodge 30% when performing a super. So it's, I think the way that intro thing works, it is plus 20%, right? So I, I hopefully that makes it just 50, right? If he's first fighting a super class enemy. Key one up to four. Additional attack and defense 50 up to 200 at the start of each turn when there is a super class enemy. Extreme class allies attack and defense 30%. Additional 20% and chance to crit 10 for future saga. So same as Mai. So he's giving extreme future saga 50% and 10% chance to crit. Future saga allies key for... Key plus two for two turns after evading an attack. That's interesting. So if you have him as a third slot floating unit, if you're running like double LR Zamasus, then the one on the next rotation is going to get two extra key. So that's kind of cool. So the problem with this guy is that most of his kit is locked behind super class enemies. Because if you imagine if there's no super class enemy, that means getting he's getting attack and defense 150. And then he's getting 50% attack and defense when performing a super and then he's giving the support which obviously he gets for himself but when there's a super class enemy he's getting an extra attack and defense 50 percent and chance to dodge and his intro animation then he's getting 50 percent extra attack and defense and uh, sorry 50 percent attack and defense from here and key one up to 200 at the start of each turn so he's considerably better against super class units and he raises attack and defense for one turn supreme damage and lowers attack so does he have big bad bosses? No, normal Zamasus don't, do they? He has brutal beatdown. Is that a normal link Zamasu has? Prodigies. I mean, he's got some decent links. Obviously, he doesn't have big bad bosses, but... Um, he seems okay until there's a super class enemy, and then he does seem like he would be really good. But that means we do need actual difficult content with a super class enemy. But there you go. Zamasu seems like he'll be good, as long as you are. we are getting some tough super class content. Otherwise, he's just kind of okay i guess but my does seem really good i think she's quality so hoping to pull copies of her obviously we want to go crazy and get co multiple copies of fujio and zamasu but both the side banner units seem really good and there you go that is the banner times as i already said 7 45 a.m uk 2 45 a.m est 11 45 p.m pst let me know what you guys think are you going all in on these banners uh, Vegito and Zamasu, I did the breakdown video, check that out, they seem like the two new best units in the game. Very, very excited. I will be live to summon on the banners, so hopefully I will see you then. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been the Master Ningen. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store, and I will see you all again soon. Have a good one!